Well, it is one of the biggest consumer tech shows in the world, and this year's CES in Las Vegas is going big on artificial intelligence. Among the companies showcasing their newest products are Siemens, a German industrial conglomerate founded in the 19th century. But is Siemens really a tech company? The Siemens keynote was itself an announcement that the German conglomerate is no industrial dinosaur, but a digital innovator. Among the innovations, working with Amazon to bring generative AI to its customers and what the CEO calls an industrial co-pilot, and envisioning a future where software programs itself. Currently, it's still in a co-pilot um, version. That means you always have the human in the loop to make a final decision. But as we go along, the integrity and the quality will go up, so you really can have a, a release of a software programmed automatically. And that's the big thing, what you want to do. This makes scaling technology much, much faster and using the data in a much more meaningful way. The 170-year-old German company is still better known for its turbines than its digital innovations. Though the company has been involved in automation and digital industries for some time, it's still often lumped together with slower-moving firms. But the AI venture is part of a modernized Siemens, tools to enable industrial companies to be more dynamic. We want to get many, many more people access to new technologies, any kind of technology, automation technology, AI technologies, without having a training, without being an expert on software development. This is about democratizing. So that means you have to lower the entry barrier to people who have less experience, less knowledge on programming. But the company faces stiff competition. After all, the entire industry is, quote, lowering the entry barrier, which means more players in this new AI arena. Siemens can count on its experience and strong customer relationships, but whether it can fight off the competition in the tech space will depend on whether Bush and his company can show that AI and innovation are more than just buzzwords. And AI. So for more on this, I want to talk to my colleague Stephen Beardsley from DW Business, uh, joining me now okay. in the studio. Hi, Stephen. So Siemens getting a keynote address at CES. Does this now mean that it's a tech company? Yeah, I mean, it, they've got the look, right? I mean, it's that's, that's one thing. Does. But you know, when it comes to the definition of a tech company, even Apple CEO Tim Cook says that his company is not a tech company. It's consumer products. So from the beginning, it's sort of tricky to figure out what a tech company is, what it isn't. Is Siemens, Google, or Microsoft? No, it's not, right? It's from this world of industry and manufacturing that's being heavily influenced by tech. Uh, you can look at another, uh, the car industry, for example. That's, um, if you want to look at another German dinosaur, Volkswagen, it's also seeing the same influences. When it looks at, talks about its products, it talks about tech and software and operating systems as much as it does mechanical engineering. So I think what a lot of these kind of legacy German firms are trying to do is find more modern solutions for areas they've already been active in. Mm. And do you think that that means that they are then serious about embracing artificial intelligence? I think in Siemens' case, sure, it is. This is not a firm that is not familiar with artificial intelligence. It already works in areas of automation when it comes to driverless trains, when it comes to automated factory floors, uh, when it comes to robotic arms performing surgery. These are areas that it's already active in, and there are already AI applications that it's trying out in those areas. What we're talking about here is really generative AI models, these ones that are based on language. And every company, including Siemens, is going to try and package some of those models into their products because they're so hot right now. But with the broader view, we also see that these language models, they offer so much potential for interacting with complex systems. Basically, we can use normal language. We don't have to be coders to access this kind of wealth of data uh, that exists within the machines that we're already using. And so that opens up tremendous potential. And for a company like Siemens, it's, it seems to have a lot of overlap with what they're already doing. So German firms moving closer to Silicon Valley, would you say? They've got the look, again, but really, I don't think anyone is going to expect Siemens to be Google, right? Um, you know, there is more overlap these days that's going to connect these old guard industrial firms that we see here in Germany, manufacturing heavy to this kind of younger tech firm that we see in the US, but also partly here in Germany and in Europe, these kind of startups. They're going to partner with them, they're going to acquire them as startups to gain some of that technology. 
because when they try and build it in-house, it can be perilous sometimes. Look again at Volkswagen. They tried to build their own operating system for electronic for electric vehicles, and what's happened? Mm. It hasn't gone well. So it's a tricky road, but there's probably gonna be more partnerships than there are one company trying to be a different one. Stephen, thank you so much for breaking that down for us. That's Stephen Beardsley from DW Business.